as a coalition, we take this opportunity to thank all members of the public and members of parliament who have expressed strong objection to the proposals that were as punitive as they were insensitive. We further applaud the emerging citizens' power that piled pressure on members of parliament and arrogant government officials, leading to the current climb down. We take particular note of the strong social media campaign that was initially dismissed by some bureaucrats as inconsequential, but which has now borne some fruits. We urge our citizens and our leaders not to relent but to continue pushing until the government does the right thing. The changes to the, to the bill announced today creates a feeling that the government is involved in mind games with the citizens. They create the feeling that some of the proposals now dropped were included in the initial bill just to, just to create outrage and give the administration the opportunity to claim to be listening and caring. There was never any justification for proposing to increase tax on bread, for example. There was no good whatsoever in proposing to tax sugarcane being delivered to factories. Motor vehicle tax was silly and outrageous from the start. The evil mind that conceived it was simply testing the resolve and the emotions of Kenyans. It takes a bad government to govern through mind games, and Kenya Kwanzaa is one such government. <laughs>